Hi, I'm Dan O'Day. As you might know, I coach professional radio personalities around the world. Recently, however, I received a copy of a station promo, specifically a promo for a particular program on the radio station, from someone who is a broadcasting student. So he, this was a promo for a program done by college students, and the promo itself was done by a college student. His name is Adam Toy, and he asked me if I would give him some feedback, and because he is a subscriber to my radio programming letter, I thought, what the heck? And with his permission, I am sharing his promo and my critique with you. So first, let's listen to the promo. And remember, this is a broadcasting student. The Big Balls Football Show, making history with their first lady guest. Oh, wow. All right. Yeah, you got, you got the honor, and, and you're way more interesting than most of the male guests that we get. <laughs> <laughs> and how did host Cole Coltrane Schapansky react? I am a gummy bear. East bin ein gummy bear. The girls love that line. The Big Balls Football Show, Monday nights at 7 on 92.9 Kick FM. It's not just balls and football. It's that inappropriate? It's that inappropriate. Mm. So that's the promo, and overall, I think it's pretty good in that it gives the listener a feel of what the program itself is like. On the other hand, a promo is assumed to present the program at its peak level of excitement, of interest, of entertainment. The audience realizes that this is what you have chosen to represent the program in its best light, that you have selected the most entertaining or the most provocative or the most compelling elements. But in this promo, there are some moments, however brief, that really aren't interesting or exciting or entertaining. They're pretty dead. A radio program promo is very much like a movie trailer. Movie trailers don't devote any screen time to the film's slow moments. No matter how important those slow moments actually might be to the telling of the story, they don't make it into the movie trailer. You need to apply that principle to promos on your radio station, either for events or for programs, anything that you are promoting within your radio station. There really is no time for a slow moment because the audience is assuming that you're giving them the very best that program has to offer. So bottom line, I think for a student production, this is a good promo. Again, the ultimate test is, does it give me a feel for what this program is like? And it does. Beyond that, after it's given me a feel for what the program is like, it needs to make me want to listen to it. And to accomplish that, this promo needs some editing. Just a little bit of editing would improve it a lot. I'm Dan O'Day. That's my opinion, and I'm sticking to it. See you next time. Littleday.com